I hope you've had dinner already because I promise you today's unboxing is going to be finger looking good. What's up and welcome back to my channel, Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as give this video a thumbs up at the end. Thumbs ups, by the way, if you didn't know, go a long ways. It does help push the algorithm so that my videos get seen by more viewers. So definitely, if you enjoyed this video, please, please, please give this video a thumbs up as well as feel free to leave us any comments in that comment box at the end of the video if you have any questions on this unboxing as well as don't forget hit that notification bell as we have some amazing videos that we are going to be putting out this coming week so happy friday everybody today we have a very different unboxing but you guys are going to be so stoked to know that it is a kfc collaboration that was done with crocs so as I mentioned in all my videos, we're gonna go through the chapter selections on what is going to happen throughout this video. First, we're gonna do that overview on these amazing unique Crocs. Then I'm gonna dabble into the sizing. Just so you guys know, I played for my size and I took a fat L, but don't worry, I still popped a pair and for some reason managed to make the sizing work. So you'll wanna stay tuned for the sizing portion as well as the styling section i took this in a different direction and i mixed that fast food and made it a little quirkier with a little fine dining kind of twist to it in a fancier styling section and then i want to conclude by dabbling in a little bit about other collaborations that have kind of aligned with this one as well as how well on the resale market these shoes are doing so let's hop into this unboxing or unbagging, shall I say. Oy, oy vey. Guys, I'm feeling a little famished. I have not had dinner and I feel like I'm not even going to make it through this video right now. Oh, I would kill for some fried chicken right now. Oh my God. Oh, fried chicken just... What in the? Colonel Sanders? Are you out there somewhere? I swear to God, you're like answering my prayers right now with the most amazingly smelling crispy chicken. Oh, I gotta touch this. Is this even real? Oh my God. I am so freaking happy right now. You've gotta be kidding me. Oh, wait, wait. This needs something else. Colonel Sanders, if you're out there, I need some hot sauce for my chicken. Can you please provide me with some hot sauce? Please, please, please. please. <gasps> oh man, this is, this is too good to be true. Oh, that is some good freaking chicken. I'm gonna take a couple more of this part. Sorry guys, I'm starving. I just one more bite. Okay. Oh man. I feel like I need... Can I get a napkin over here or something real quick? Just just a napkin, please. Oh. Thank you. Can't do this unboxing with greasy chicken fingers now, can I? That would be a tragedy. So, without further ado, let's do this unboxing. Voila! The Kentucky Fried Chicken Times Crock Bag, you guys. No box needed for this collab. But oh no, these Crocs seem to be missing something very important. Where could... There's some other pieces of chicken in this, this bin that just are too realistic. But man, thankfully I didn't bite into this because these go on the actual shoe. That's right. You can place this anywhere on your croc that you want. They're detachable. So if you don't want to rock the actual chicken wing itself, chicken here, not chicken wing, chicken leg, 
all you got to do is plop it in there and one of these dots and it clicks right in how cool is that oh and that's right it actually smells like fried chicken which is hard for me to tell now because i just bit into some chicken but oh my god it's pretty on point with the scent of what fried chicken would smell like so for those of you who have probably already seen this specific shoe before because it was released in february during fashion week but also kim kardashian because you know she's unlike the rest of us got a pair of the other option which i do not have because it wasn't released to the public but it was actually a had a four inch platform all the way throughout the bottom to mimic the Kentucky Fried Chicken box. So it actually has these same stripes here, but longer because it was four inches and she got that in a glass container delivered to her house. So she definitely in March actually posted that on her story for everyone to see. But those clogs, unfortunately, were only made for special celebrities and wah, wah, wah. I didn't make the cut. But that's okay because hey we got the other clogs here for you guys to do the overview of so for those of you who are familiar with kentucky fried chicken it is a fast food chain it is a chicken chain that i grew up eating my whole life my god i don't know how many countless <laughs> actual buckets of chicken i've eaten in my life but it is too many to count on two hands so my grandma definitely took care of me in the kentucky fried chicken realm so of course we have our main man right here colonel sanders himself with his logo finger looking good because the chicken is so tasty then of course we have our lovely strap here so in the sizing, I'm going to talk about this more. This is actually a men's size five. I'm a 7.5, but uh, you guys are going to see in the styling that I actually was able to make it work because you don't actually have to have that strap in the back. You can actually pull it forward, which is nice. And then on this side, we've got Colonel Sanders original recipe, Kentucky Fried Chicken. And then, of course, we've got the same kind of matchy-matchy stripes going on that mimic what's on the actual bucket, which is very cool. And then we've got some nice gripping going on the inside of this clog. So then we've got that kind of nice, simple, clean white outsole here. Definitely got some nice grip. Crocs are very good in the realm of having shoes that are going to keep you from slipping and sliding on the ground, which is quite nice. So on the bottom here, we've got our size, men's size 5, women's size 7. And it just says Crocs at the bottom with, it looks like their website. So if you guys weren't sure about their website, it's on there. And then we've got Boulder, Colorado on there as well. Then on each side here, we've got the little button here with the Kentucky Fried Chicken times Crocs on the side. And then let's get to the meat and potatoes, literally, of the shoe. Uh, we've got the chicken pattern all throughout the shoe. So we've got some definitely massive perforated holes. So you're going to get lots of ventilation in these Crocs, but we've just got pieces of crispy looking chicken all over the shoe. And of course, which I showed you earlier, that detachable chicken leg, which looks good enough to eat. I mean, this is definitely a shoe that is insane. I've never seen anything like it. So it's so great to see Kentucky Fried Chicken expanding out and reaching out to somebody like Crocs to do a great collaboration because they're keeping us entertained. And if you're not entertained by this, my God, you must not like be a fan of chicken, I guess. <laughs> All right. So without further ado, let's hop into some sizing talk about why I was able to fit into these shoes and um, why I took that out. Talk about sizing, I unfortunately was unable to cop this in my size 7.5, but I will say typically with open toe type shoes, so even like open toed heels and stilettos and things like that, I do tend to size down. And the fact of the matter is, is that I do have high arches. 
And so that will allow me to kind of finagle my way into fitting into smaller sizes. I wasn't sure about this specific silhouette because I've never actually owned a pair of Crocs before. This is actually my first pair. So I had no idea what to expect, but all of the shoes sold out in legitimately 30 minutes or less. And so I tried to go for my size, but that sold out fast. So the only size that I could go for that was left, that was close enough, was a size five in men's, which is equivalent to a size seven in women's. So I would say you would definitely be able to size down in these, but unfortunately, one of the things that I am unable to do in these is to actually leave this latch all the way back. I mean, you can change the sizing and tighten it, but this is the loosest that this actually goes on the strap, unfortunately. So you're losing, you know, about an inch behind your heel here if you do keep this on. So the nice thing that I like about Croxo is that you can pull that strap and just keep it forward for a more casual look, which is why I'm able to actually fit my 7.5 foot into this. And uh, other than that, I would probably recommend, you know, personally sizing half a size down. So I think my perfect size fit for this would have been a size seven. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to get that. But hey, I made these work and I'm crossing my fingers because I was lucky enough to do that. Probably not going to be wearing these with super thick socks because my feet are at the very end and are at the very far back. But hey, great summer shoe nonetheless. All right, so now let's get into our favorite portion, the seven portion. So I'm just gonna head over to the rack and we're gonna go through some of the different items that I selected for the styling. We'll bring these with us this time, just so we can hold them up. So I was lucky enough to be able to film this in a very nice outdoorsy area and the thing I love about, you know, these shoes, it was kind of giving me for some reason, like just outdoorsy picnic vibes. And the thing I like about this colorway is that the red really pops. So two of the dresses that I actually picked, I decided to go with some red coloring just to kind of see, you know, how the color blocking of the red really pulls from the red in these different garments that I selected. So uh, one of the first looks that I did was a longer dress. This dress is from Zara. You can currently buy this in store or buy this online. And you know, this was just a nice, perfect dress for a picnic vibe slash just, you know, anything kind of on a more trendier, bougier style, I guess you could say. Uh, but as opposed to doing more super casual, I wanted to kind of, you know, make it a little more dressy with this dress since these shoes are very casual uh, but i think it just worked really well the flowers and everything really just kind of popped obviously there's no food on this dress because i don't know if i could find anything with kentucky fried chicken on the garment but you know the flowers for this first look i think worked pretty well then the next look i wanted to kind of go with something just super basic to help these shoes just really pop and this again is another dress from zara $69 and it's just a super comfortable dress and you know I think for the specific chicken coloring it works really well with kind of this beige tan colorway and it definitely made this uh, croc shoe the standout piece in the, the outfit definitely walking around nobody was looking at this dress they were looking at my feet <laughs> And then last but not least, I chose a shorter version of the dress so you, you guys could just, you know, get a check and a uh, check, look, look, check, get a closer look at my legs. <laughs> but this dress is from H&M. This is also still available. So if you guys want to buy this in store or online, it is available.
again, I just loved the red textures in this dress because it really just pops with the stripes on the bottom of this shoe. So on that midsole, definitely got that shiny red that just is really blending well with the reds in this dress. All right, guys, so that is the styling portion. Now I'm gonna just dabble into some other collaborations that we've seen this year that kind of connect well with the Kentucky Fried Chicken collaboration. And then we're gonna talk about resale on the shoe. So as you guys know, let me see if I can even see them around here. I have to go and grab some for you, but uh, I would say that Supreme is a great example of one of the brands that has already done collaborations with food. This year, we of course saw the Supreme collaboration with the Oreos. And so that was definitely a great fun twist on, you know, a fun American brand that uh, really encapsulated fashion in a different way. And that really re resonates, I feel like, with Kentucky Fried Chicken. Then we also saw the huge Popeyes trend. So if you guys have not gone to my Instagram, go to my personal Instagram, Rissa E. Hill. And I actually have in the stories at the bottom uh, in the highlight section, my journey to finding that Popeyes chicken sandwich. I don't know if any of you guys out there had that... Uh, <laughs> hunt for the chicken like I did, but I actually documented it. It's pretty funny. All right, here we are at Popeye's. A bit disappointed because as you can see, this is no chicken sandwich. They're completely sold out. Now I'm eating um, spicy chicken sandwich from Wendy's. And it's so good. Sorry, excuse me. Order forty four. This is forty eight. You had the, the sandwich? Yeah, the sandwich. Only five bucks of the sandwich. Huh? Do you love it? It's great. It's amazing. Would you eat one every day? <laughs> uh, almost. Too much? Almost, yeah. Too much chicken? Really yeah. <laughs> At least I think it's sort of funny. We'll show you guys some clips actually on it so you can get a better idea of uh, <laughs> that chicken journey. But yeah, it was uh, it was pretty intense. It took me a while to find the chicken sandwich, but I finally managed to do it. It was, you know, really a great victory. <laughs> and, uh, you know, what's interesting is after Beyonce had launched her Ivy Park line with Adidas, Popeyes realized, wait a second, like that's kind of the same color scheme as our uniform. So they actually launched a line themselves uh, that basically is kind of mocking, I guess, Ivy Park, but it looked exactly like it. And I bet it was actually more affordable, but um, that was Popeye's actually bringing, you know, some fashion edge to the table as well. So Kentucky Fried Chicken is definitely not the first to hop into that game of things. And then, uh, yeah, also a uh, music video that was shot for these. I'm definitely gonna show that whole thing to you guys because it is so funny. But it uh, was the South Korean artist. Her name is Me Love Me A Lot, or MLMA. <laughs> Great name. So she actually wore the high platform version in these shoes and it's such a funny commercial. I mean, she's literally like in a fast food restaurant cooking and you see her go over the fryer when a order comes in. So she puts the fryer in, or the baskets into the fryer, waits a little bit, goes back over the fryer, and next thing you know, she's pulling out the clog version in the 4.5 inches, uh, inch heel on the clog clogs in this silhouette.
So that was pretty funny. I thought that was great. Um, yeah, overall, I feel like Kentucky Fried Chicken just did, you know, an incredible job with marketing this shoe and that's probably why it sold out so quickly. So now let's get into the real resale portion. I'm going to talk to you about the retail value of this and how it's reselling in the aftermarket currently. All right, so these shoes again sold out in about 30 minutes. So definitely there were a lot of people that were seeking buying this specific collab. Uh, but currently it retailed at $59.99 on the Crocs website. And actually they were advertising uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken that they were giving $3 from that purchase back to their personal foundation, which is pretty cool. Uh, so $3 from each pair was donated towards the KFC's Foundation's Scholarship Fund for employees. So that's pretty incredible, KFC. Given back. Uh, so as far as the resale value goes, larger sizes are definitely doing a bit better. So around 8 to size 13, that's going for $100 to $160. The lower base sizes are from 4 to 7, and that's going around $70 to $75. So if you are a smaller size, this is a great opportunity for you definitely to hop on and purchase this shoe because it's not really going that high above the retail sale value. Uh, other than that, I think the higher end, you know, it's not insanely over as well, depending on which size you have, the higher you get, the more it obviously is going to be. But other than that, there's definitely a tiny bit of money to be made on these since they definitely were a unique, different collaboration. So now I'm going to end with just a quote from the Instagram post by Crocs. They said, the saying is true. Good things in Crocs that look like a bucket of fried chicken come to those who wait. Very cool little quote that Crocs did there for their latest post when these launch. Um, other than that, you guys, thanks again for joining me for this amazing premiere. I love having you guys over on my channel on Friday evenings. All right, and if you have not heard yet, guys, I will be on Roscoe's show on September 1st, so mark your calendar. September 1st is gonna be a big day for the channel, and I can't wait to have the Shape community with me on there. You guys are definitely gonna be able to chat with me live as you're viewing me for the first time. I know we haven't done that before. We just do premieres where you kind of write me, but unfortunately, you're not seeing me live on Roscoe's show. You're gonna be able to do that. Uh, as well as, you know, Thank you so much for tuning into this random unboxing that we had today. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave me any comments or questions that you may have on this interestingly insane shoe, as well as hit those notifications. We wanna alert you guys as soon as we have any up and coming videos. So until next time, my name's Marissa Hill. This is Shea TV. We'll see you later.